So it's been a while since I've really played Hell Let Loose. When the recent update came out for it with the new map Kharkov, I think I've played two rounds since that update's come out. But before then, it was probably another two months before that since I'd last played it. And I just wanted to talk about why I pretty much no longer play Hell Let Loose. I'm not saying I'll never play it again, but I'm at least going to have quite a big break from it. And there's three main reasons as to why I've pretty much stopped playing Hell Let Loose. So first up, there is the quality of matches that I've been getting for well the last few game sessions that I've played. Yes, we're getting a lot of new players into Hell Let Loose and they may not necessarily know how to play the game, but also the community changes over time. But I think the core reason as to why the games haven't been that great is because there is no tutorial for new players for Hell Let Loose. It's something that I've been going on about that Hell Let Loose needs for such a long time. And I can tell you that it's never going to happen. The devs have said this in the Discord. There's going to be no tutorial coming to see the game. And I think that's a major mistake. But they have said why. And the reason why there will never be like an offline tutorial is because there's a lot of code for the game that is kept on the server side only. If they want to make an offline map, they have to bring that code into the actual client for the game. And that makes this code a lot more easier for cheaters to get hold of to make cheats for. So it's a very valid reason as to why they're not doing it. But there is still cheaters in the game, so it's not really <laughs> stopping cheaters anyway. I think the benefit you'll get from putting in an offline tutorial will be greater than the cheats coming in. Because the cheats are already there. The cheats aren't being stopped and I guess the whole cheat inside of Hell Let Loose needs to be talked about in a separate video. I don't know if I'll actually do that but there's not a lot of cheaters but there definitely are cheaters. I do admin stuff for a few servers and I've caught a fair few cheaters over the years. But the effect of having no tutorial in the game means that when new people come in or even people that have been playing the game for a while may not understand various aspects of the game because the game doesn't actually tell them about it. And the knock-on effect it has is because it lowers the quality of matches. It means you get a lack of garrisons because people either don't know how to place garrisons or people don't want to play squad leader because they don't understand the role. It also means that people miss out on the core of winning a game, which is garrisons and map control. Not necessarily just controlling the point, but you need to control the area around the point and place down multiple garrisons. That can all be put in a tutorial. Yes, there's videos on YouTube, but why should people rely on YouTube videos to you know, learn how to play a game? That information should be in the game. Now, my second reason are the game modes, Warfare and Offensive. And pretty much, these are just variations of the really old Conquest mode. Now, I'm not sure which game first used Conquest, but... For me, it would have been Battlefield 1942. Every single Battlefield has used it since. Call of Duty is using it in Grand War. There's many other games that use Conquest or a variation of Conquest, such as World War Three. Squad even uses it. Any mode where you basically have to go to a location and stand and wait for a bit to capture it is just used far too often in first-person shooters. And playing this one mode for well, like 20 years now, it's a bit stale. It doesn't matter what twist you put on it. It's still run to a location and stand there. It's honestly just too boring now. Now, Redcoat Viking did actually hit on this on a video recently put out where he suggests putting in a new mode of Team Deathmatch into the game. I think he's right that the game needs a new mode, but I don't think Team Deathmatch is the right mode. But I do think they should add some smaller scale modes into the game. Now, I'm going to say Domination, and Domination is a form of Conquest. But if you make it a small scale mode, so there's only maybe three points that are active, really condense the map. That could be useful for seeding servers or just to keep the game a bit more quicker at a faster pace. You could add in like a King of the Hill mode where there's only one objective added and the score is determined by who holds that point the longest. And with that mode, again, you could have a really condensed map, maybe get rid of garrisons so it is just spawning in just certain fixed areas. Any form of like a destruction objective where you need to 
get to a certain area and blow up some artillery guns. It's another little variation on just something for the game to have. Now, thankfully, I'm not a game designer, so I don't really need to come up with all these different Another game modes, but I think Hell Let Loose does need something different instead of just capture this area. If it doesn't come in Hell Let Loose 1, I'd really hope yeah, that this yeah. sort of new gameplay mode would come to Hell Let Loose 2. For the tank players out there, they could add in a full uh, yeah. armored mode where you cannot play as infantry. Well, you can, but you can only play as an armor squad and you have to use a tank. I think Postscriptum does this. I'm not sure if it's an official mode or a mod in Postscriptum, but if they put that into Hell Let Loose, that would be something at least different. You would have to use tanks and there would just be massive tank battles everywhere. Yeah, that could be pretty, pretty cool. Speaking of like a mod for Postscriptum, they could just add mod support for Hell Let Loose. I mean, it'd probably take quite a bit of time to code it all in and get it all working. But adding mod support to Hell Let Loose would just be amazing and open the floodgates to so much new crazy stuff. And the last reason as to why I've pretty much stopped playing Hell Let Loose is after 1,200 hours into the game, and I know there's a lot of other people that have put in a lot more time into the game, I'm kind of just bored of the whole gameplay loop. There's nothing I really come across during gameplay that really sort of wows or excites me. Yes, we can have a little good gameplay session or a a good little run taking over or defending a point but it's kind of like the whole been there done that really they've added in new content for the game but the game is still the same it's still the same loop it's cool looking at the new maps but i played the new map twice and i think i'm okay with not playing it anymore I'm not saying it's a bad map at all i enjoyed playing it but yeah it doesn't add enough to the game for me and it is my most played game on Steam and, you know, it's okay to start losing interest in a game. It's okay. I think there's many games that anyone that's watching this have played for a lot less than 1,200 hours and you've sort of had your fill and finished with it. So it's just kind of okay. My next top played game on Steam was PUBG and that was about 450 hours. So I've got a lot more time out of Hell Let Loose than I did PUBG. I think one of the reasons... I'm really getting kind of bored of it is while Hell Let Loose is a heavy teamwork based game, which is a good thing. I'm kind of getting annoyed at having to rely on people to build garrisons and do other bits while I'm fulfilling my role. Now I know, yes, there's going to be some people that will go into the comments and say, well, just play squad leader yourself and build those garrisons. Well, what if I don't want to play squad leader that time? You know, there's plenty of infantry squads two recon squads and a commander that can be other garrisons you don't you shouldn't have to you know leave a squad just to be a squad leader to get some extra garrisons up and i know that will make a big so impact to the game but yeah there's loads of other squads already i know this is probably sounding like a bit of a rant but i'm not saying i'll never play hell at loose again it's probably just going to be a bit of a while before i go back to it i am playing some other games um the main game that i've really been playing lately is hunt showdown it's something that I've already got about 150, 170 hours in, but I've been playing that a lot with Redcoat Viking and really enjoying it and then hating it at the same time and then really enjoying it, really hating it and then really enjoying it. So I'll be making content for Hunt Showdown because that is a really good game and I do highly recommend it. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think the game needs extra modes? What sort of modes would you like to see? Have you guys stopped playing it? Let me know. Let's have a discussion in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.